Hello gamers, I'm Online Gamer Richie, and this is the Daily Game Review, where I take a game and give it an honest review that is based on my opinion. Wait! Why am I still here? Shouldn't I be ascending? I was told there would be a bright light. Where's my bright light? You call this a sepulcher worthy of my majesty? I know the royal catacombs are quite a ways from the palace. But is this the best you could do? Oh. Go forth into the catacombs. Find me a sepulcher worthy of my magnificence and fill it with riches. So today's game is Chariot. Um, this game is a, not, I wouldn't say it's a platformer, but yet it is a platformer. Basically what you're doing is you are dragging around the king's coffin to find his final resting place. And he's not happy with the first one that you found. So now it is your job as the princess or the prince to find his final resting place. That is the basic premise of this game. The game has a pretty funny commentary as you play from the king. So if you leave him alone by himself for too long, he's going to complain about it. Um, so, and then as you're going along, you are picking up all the gems and jewels and gold and whatever else you can find. There is a second part to this game where you can make your characters a little bit better with devices that they can uh, learn how to use by finding uh, scrolls, basically, or blueprints on how to create it. And at the end of each time you uh, figure out how to do one of these maze sections, you gain a new way of entering the catacombs and the ability to change out the items that you're going to use. So like one of the items is a teleportation device where you put it on the ground, you can teleport the coffin and yourself if you're on it up to that spot. Other things are like uh, boots that allow you to walk on water or lava. Yeah. And then of course you can upgrade the the coffin as well with a light, um, better wheels, and other things such as that. Yeah. So you can complete more and more of these maze-like areas of the game. That is the premise of yeah. The game in a nutshell is you are looking for the place to, for the king to rest and it is a puzzle all together so trying to find out which way to go and everything is up to you you can there's multiple ways of going through each section but each section has maybe two different ways or three different ways of getting out but trying to find all everything in it is not as easy as it sounds so there we go. So the graphics. Let's go with the graphics. The graphics are cartoonish. They are, you know, what you would expect from a 64, maybe even a Super NES, if, if you remember those. So they're not bad graphics, but that's not the, what this game is about. The game itself is about the puzzles and the humor in the game. So... You know, as far as that goes, I'm just going to give the graphics, you know, a 6. Because they could probably could have been better, but that doesn't matter about this game. The music in this game is very good. It goes along with the, the whole entire premise of the game. So, the music I will give... I'll give the, I'll give the music a 7 as 7. Because it's not bad. 
so the controls this is where this game kind of does succeed uh, really well the controls are very good uh, you have a rope you have jump you have an attack skill you have a specialty skill that you can use the rope you can extend it lower it you can use it to pull the coffin everything so and the controls are right on and really easy to use so I'm going to go ahead and give the controls a 8 now is the game fun the game is extremely fun the puzzles do get more difficult as you go along and there are enemies that will come out and fight if you make too much noise so the trick to this game is to go through this game making as little noise as you can while connecting collecting not connecting but collecting the diamonds as much as you can so with that being said I'm going to give this game probably no I'm not probably I'm going to give this game a solid 9 on the fun factor because this game is a lot of fun so there you have it that's my honest opinion on this game what do you think about it Thanks for watching, and as always, play the game your way. Laters.